Hello YouTube, what's up my friends, Moody's here. Today we are going to unbox together this super tiny phone, which I believe it's the tiniest phone I have ever saw in my life. It is a fake replica of the Nokia 3310, which I felt immediately nostalgic when I saw this one, because I actually had the 3310 Nokia when I was at high school, as I remember. So I felt so much nostalgic and I decided to immediately buy this one and unbox it with all of you, my friends. So without further ado, let's just get inside. All we got here is a USB micro tiny cable and this is the actual phone. I can't believe it, look at this. It looks identical to the old Nokia 3310. I even had it the same color. Speaker and you can put something here to hang it on your keychain or something and a USB micro cable for charging up. Look at this, it's very tiny. Could you hear the sound of the keys, the clicks? It's been very long time since I ever heard a hardware click for a key. It's a little bit stiff to get it opened with my nails only. So just be careful not to hurt your nails while you are getting into this phone. I actually needed this ruler to be able to open it. Okay, look at this. This is the battery, a dual SIM slot. I think it can take an SD card right here, SD micro, or dual SIM. So look at this, this is a very very tiny battery, so it's 380 milliamps battery actually. This is almost like a battery of a smartwatch nowadays, so let's put it inside. We all set. So this is at 23.1 grams. This is very very lightweight phone. Could you imagine? So let's compare it with other objects to be able to comprehend the difference in scale. This is my 4G modem. Look at this. It's a bit thicker. It's very tiny compared to it. This is an actual phone. <laughs> it's extremely tiny and it is so relieving to just keep looking at it. This is it compared to an iBoot Nano. It is even much tinier than iBoot Nano. So let's power it on. Oh, can you hear that? <laughs> it locks the screen with this button and star. All right, like the old Nokia. Yes, it has alarm. Could you imagine? Settings, time and date, display. Look at this. It has a key backlighting. <laughs> this phone is full of features regardless how tiny it is. Oh my god, security, all right, all right. So I should be sitting a uh, pink coat for this phone, right? <laughs> no one would probably be able to use it even if I don't set a pink coat for it, actually. Do the same, restore factory setting, services. So am I supposed to access internet through this screen or what? It's, I think, 0.6 inches screen. It's an OLED screen, by the way. Profiles. Bluetooth, yeah, yeah. So you should probably either insert the SIM card and use it as an independent phone, or you can bear it with your phone and you can use it to pick up phone calls through this phone from your, from your original phone. And you can use it as a dialer for your phone as well. It has a file explorer. What? Messages, right message, all right. Let's say testing. Testing. 
one. Oh, I need numbers. Okay. Here is one. Testing one, two, three. So the only way to delete no longer press. You only have to keep clicking till you delete the whole message. Mbox is empty, of course. No SIM card still. Phone settings language, yeah. So it has many languages: English, French, the Spanish, Spanish, yeah, Danish. I don't know Polish or Polish language, yeah. Italiano, Dutch, Dutch, and Dutch, and many many other languages which I don't know. Russian maybe. Arabic! Oh my god! It even has Arabic and Farisi and Ordo, Greek. It has many languages! Some bigger phones doesn't support all these languages. Indian and so on. Let's keep it on English, of course. Flight mode. Like this would affect an aeroplane anyway. Why would I turn this into flight mode? <laughs> okay. Security. Phone security. Screen auto look. Wow, it is so futuristic ringtones actually. <laughs> I never expected that it would have such a good ringtones. Tunes. I don't have them on my original phones. So this is like the old ringtone from some Nokia phones actually. So there are only five ringtones, but I really like most of them. And this is my favorite, actually. I wish I were able to send it to my other phones. So let's select it. And what is seven? Oh, it's the volume. All right. So seven is the highest. In this video, my friends, I'm determined to get the most out of this phone for all of you. Let's also test the media player since I installed 16 GB of SD card inside this phone to test the music, the loudness, the quality of the sound coming out of it. If I kept going to my files, I can then choose to access files from the memory card and Open it. So these are folders that I preloaded to it. So let's play this one. This is the loudest, the loudest level. It is very loud. I can't believe that such a music is coming out of such a tiny phone. I'm really determined to even push this phone harder and let's try to bear it with my Jabra Bluetooth speaker. Power on. Welcome. You are now ready for pairing. Go to the Bluetooth menu on your phone. Turn on or enable Bluetooth. Search for devices and select your Jabra hands-free device. Select pair or OK. If asked for a PIN code, enter 0000. Connected. So let's try again to play some music. You all can see that uh, it says now it is connected. Here is the hands-free icon.
but the quality is not the highest. But it is really still fine that I can play music through it. There is no equalizer setting or something, that's all. So the original setting or the original pass code for this phone by default is 1122. Restore factory setting, it would require you to enter this passcode. So whenever you want to set it to factory setting, you will need to know the bin code. And also you can use it as a recorder. We can record some sound with it. Let's test it out. So now it is recording. Testing 1, 2, 3. Okay, it's recording. Um, we are testing out the quality of the mic on this tiny phone. I hope it works pretty well. So we will replay this all over again. So now it is recording. Testing one, two, three. Um, we are testing out the quality of the mic on this tiny phone. I hope it works pretty well. So we will replay this all over again. So as you all can see it works pretty well, not the worst really, I was able to recognize every word I said, so it works pretty nice. And it saves .amr, so it doesn't support a high quality recording, but it's good that it has such a feature. And also I installed my SIM card in it and I made multiple calls during the whole day and it works really like a charm. Everyone I'm talking to, they are hearing me crystal clear and I'm hearing them crispy and clear like any other phone. This tiny guy will attract everyone's attention, trust me. All my friends and family members kept asking me whether it's a tiny little toy or it's a real deal and a real working phone. And I had to give each one of them a phone call to make them really believe it's a fully functional phone. The screen really is very tiny, yet it is very visible, you know, I like the OLED screen since the very old Sony MP3 player. It is very cheap phone, by the way, it costs me around 20 bucks. So it is very cheap, relatively cheap, compared to any other phones in the market. So let me calculate something for a second. Whoa! So each Galaxy Note 9 could theoretically buy you 50 phones of these. One disadvantage, unfortunately it doesn't support a 3.5mm headphone jack, so keep that in mind, unless it can play music through the Bluetooth if you pair it with your headset, other than this it doesn't have a 3.5mm headphone jack. So that was it my friends, this is my new tiny fake replica of the original Nokia 3310 phone. Thank you so much for watching, give us thumbs up if you liked the video and the little tiny cute phone. And kindly support us by clicking on that subscribe button that would be so much helpful and helping us to create more contents like this. Until then I will see you in the next one. Peace.